Previously, we've shown you all the different places we went to during our 13-day road trip to Arizona. In this episode, we want to share with you the behind-the-scenes look of places we stopped at, people we met, and also share our road trip tips. So, let's go! So, we started our trek to Arizona. Well, Kansas first. We had to stop at Wally's uh, in Pontiac, Illinois, because it's huge and it has really super nice bathrooms. So it's definitely a place that you want to stop if you're near the Pontiac, Illinois area. I think it's the cleanest bathrooms out of all the road trips we've ever taken. I agree. And can you even believe it? The it decided, because I was driving, it decided to snow. Wally's is the home of the Great American Road Trip. So right off the bat, this place is enormous. It has over 72 fueling locations. This is not your average road trip gas station. This place does sell your typical road trip snacks, but it's also much bigger than that. Look at this, they even have a toy store area which Rosalie loved. And now let's talk about the food. One of my favorites is the popcorn station. You can mix and match and create your own concoction. Right next to that, there's a barbecue place that even has its own carving station. And my favorite part, the huge variety of beef jerkies. Holy cow, look at that. This thing is big as my arm. A big tip is always try to stop when you can. Look at all these snacks they got here. And they also have candy corn. <laughs> yeah, candy corn. Okay. That's one cool fox. A raccoon playing the banjo. And a bear. <laughs> Drinking Diet Pepsi. Two hours down out of seven to get to Kansas City. You tired? Seven and a half. I got a uh, uh, wild blueberry coffee. That's your second coffee today. Yeah, I usually have two cups of coffee a day and that's it. No, we're, this is the Mississippi River, Rosalie. All right, we're in Missouri. Oh, oh no, oh, 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 oh. This is how you crouch, okay? okay. Hey, go that way. Good, yeah, I'm following you, don't uh, stop. Just keep on going. Right here, right here. After we saw the world's largest shuttlecock, my old roommate took us for some Kansas City barbecue. This place is happening. You know it's good when the line's this long. So we are at uh, Joe's Kansas City Barbecue, and you definitely have to come here, get some really good barbecue. The other famous pork Z-Man. Very popular, very good. Travel tip is wherever city you're in, go to what they're famous for. So here in Kansas City, they're known for their barbecue and their ribs. Huh? On day two, we are on our way to Wichita, Kansas to see our friends par for the course. We took a quick stop to the Oz Museum to see Dorothy and her friends, so we were a little late meeting up with them, but it's no fair. We were driving while they were flying back. It was minus 35 uh, with wind chill a couple, couple days ago. I have never eaten at an airport before, but Ron recommends it, so we're going. Here's a family tip. As you're driving and you know people live somewhere, grab food with them. If you don't eat, you die. So today, who's with us is the Pars. Par, par for the course. If you saw the video, they got me up in a plane. I didn't do a great job, but we didn't crash. So that was, <laughs> a, that was, that was, that was a win. Can you let everybody know what your channel's about? It's, we call it the journey and the destination. We, it's, it's more of a flying videos. But when we fly someplace, unlike some other YouTubers that fly, they just fly somewhere and they turn on, they fly back. So we like to show some interesting things that we did while we were there. So it's called the journey and the destination. And it usually involves food. <laughs> but food, food is always <laughs> high on the list. <laughs> so. And it's crazy because we're eating. We are, we're at an airport. I've never eaten at an airport before. Like a, it is a small plane one. Yeah. And uh, the food is actually really good. Yeah. I couldn't eat as much as... Ron, I was uh, kind of a wimp there. Well, kind of, of a wimp. Okay, 
I ate my whole country fried steak. I think he ate like one eighth of his. <laughs> and even the waitress kind of went, Shame. Uh, whippy, whippy, whippy. It's the new year. Got to watch the boys figure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before we headed back to the road, Ron wanted to show us some hangar homes. I've never heard of this before, but you can have a home and a hangar all in the same place. And we were lucky enough that one of Ron's friends let us in and be able to explore the home and also the hangar. On day three of our road trip, for those keeping track, we made it to our 23rd state, Arizona. Well, we're meeting my brother at Oatman, but we had to stop. And hey, look, I got a new car. I'm glad I did because my little sedan would not have made it up this trek. The hills are crazy. So when you're traveling, what we always want to try to do is just stop and enjoy the scenery. You don't always have to be rushing. And I am just blown away. Look at this. For gas, check out the price. $5.99. Everywhere else we go to, it's about like closer to $3. On day four, we decided to get off the expressway and check out a Route 66 stop. We were kind of hungry, so we checked out the Crown Railroad Cafe. This is a very cute cafe, and it was railroad themed. If you look all the way in the top, those are railroad tracks. You can see a train go around the whole restaurant. The food here really hit the spot, but before we left, Rosie wanted to do one more thing. Wow, look at you. Look at how close her knees are to those steering They're wheels. almost too big for that. All right, here's another tip. If you get sleepy, we usually switch driving. So it makes it much easier. Some folks like to have both drivers awake to keep each other company. Uh, our family tends to let the other one sleep so they're well rested to drive later on. And the funny thing is, is that the temperature in Illinois right now is higher than it is here in Arizona, in this part of Arizona. Phoenix is another story. That's gonna that's gonna be higher. But right now, the temperature, the air, the area in Arizona where we're at right now, Illinois up in the Chicago area is warmer. Crazy. On day 11 of our road trip, we decided to take a different route because we're still doing our 50 state challenge. And by doing this, we were able to unlock our 24 state, Texas. So it doesn't count unless you see something. So in Texas, we ended up seeing Groom Cross. As you can see, they do make everything bigger in Texas. Click this end card video if you wanna see all the fun things we did in Arizona.